Hey Minneapolis, J. Scott Williamson, host of Cinema Apocalypse, Cutting Room Floor. Just got done with my Rip Van Winkle nap, as you can tell from this beard with all the white in it. Fell asleep under a tree for a couple months, didn't do a new show. But I'm back tonight. I got a couple great 80s horror classics. I got some martial arts stuff. I got some girl gangs and I got some female ninjas. So let's get to the clips. First up tonight is The Burning. This is the slasher flick that probably has the most well-known cast since Kevin Bacon was in the first Friday the 13th movie. This movie has Jason Alexander from Seinfeld. It has Fisher Stevens from Hackers. Remember where he was skateboarding in that movie and it was really stupid. You hacked the planet, man, hacked the planet. One of the worst movies ever. And then Holly Hunter's the third one, except she's in this total blink and you'll miss a cameo. It took my buddy Ted and I like 10 minutes to even figure out who it was because she's like, eight years old. So she goes from the burning to crash, which that's, that is a fine exploitation career. But the best thing about this movie is the script, well, one of the script writers, there were four of them, because you know you need four people to figure out how to like have, you know, a crazed maniac go through the forest and slash a bunch of teens. But one of the story guides, this was Harvey Weinstein, you know, media mogul Harvey Weinstein. And this was his first production credit on top of it. So mover, shaker, Hollywood guy, hey, I'm gonna start out with the burning. And it's actually a pretty solid slasher flick. I mean, you know, what do you expect? You got crazy maniac and it, you know, it starts out typical slasher fashion. These guys, there's this caretaker at this camp and he's like kind of a dick. His name's Cropsy, which by the way is a great name. You gotta have a cool name for your villain. Jason, hey, that ain't so cool. He got cool, you know, cause of the character, but Cropsy, that sounds like an ass. So anyway, so these kids hate him, you know, cause he's real mean to them. So they break into his cabin that's filled with like power tools and gasoline and stuff. And they bring this flaming skull and set it on his night table and wake it up. And his alcohol stupor, he wakes up and sees it, and freaks out, knocks it over. The thing explodes. He's on fire, thusly the burning. So he runs out, you know, and the kids are all freaked out. Ah, run away. They don't help him or anything, God forbid. So he winds up in the hospital. Great burn makeup, by the way. There's like, the effects in this are fantastic. And he wakes up in the hospital, kills people, escapes, comes back to the camp, hunts down all the new kids, including one of the, somebody from the old thing. So you have to figure out the mystery of who the one was that worked at the camp originally, even though you'll figure out like in five seconds. Effects are awesome. There's like some great throat slashing, some finger cutting off, machetes in the heads, all the usual stuff and some burning, because of course you gotta have some fire killing people. This is, has no US release date. 
as of now, I had to get this one from overseas. There's been a promise to DVD forever. We haven't gotten it, so I'm afraid online is the only way for this one if you want to see some fine early 80s slasher action.